Hey, welcome back. We're going to look at more metric conversions and trying to make sure that you know how many spaces to move the decimal place. Just some more examples for you. And again, we're going to try to use that uh, mnemonic device. That's King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. I did a couple other videos on that you can check out on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link uh, that you can click on. And basically what these are, that, that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk helps you remember the prefixes in the metric system. So the important thing to remember, you can see I have a box around the B. This stands for the base unit. And depending on what you're measuring, that is your starting point. So that could be grams if you're dealing with mass, it could be liters for volume, and it could be meters for measuring length or distance. So the first one you can see, this first example, we have 256 meters equals how many centimeters? So what you want to look for or remember is that this C here, this stands for centi. Centi. And this is this M here stands for milli. And the meter is actually right here. So there's a sometimes confusion between this M and the one right here. So you've got to make sure that you get those straight. The M in the center under the B is meter. So what we want to do is we want to move this decimal place now the right number of spaces to convert this. What I mean by that is I have 256 meters and we gotta make sure that we start here at meters with a decimal place and we're gonna try to move it over one, two places so that we get to the C, the centimeters. And how do I do that? Well, what I would recommend is over on the side here, if you have room scratch paper or something when you first start these, I would rewrite the number and in this case, it's a whole number, you could see 256. So any whole number, you can write the whole number and the decimals right behind it. And it doesn't matter how many zeros you want to put to the right. You can put as many as you want. It's still going to be 256 as a whole number. So there's the decimal place. Now you can see up at the top here, we need to move that over from meters to centimeters two places to the right. So I'm going to move that one, two. So that'll be my new number. If I erase these zeros over here, here's my zeros I'm erasing then you can see that my decimal place now moved over two places. My new number rewritten in the, in the space here, it will look like this. Two, five, six, zero, zero. Point zero, if you want to put that, you can put point zero. Again, it doesn't matter if you put the point zero or not. In this case, since it was a whole number, you could leave it a whole number. So I'll leave it a whole number. I move the important, important thing is you can see I put two zeros after 256. And so that number equals 25,600. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And then this next one, we're gonna go from centimeters to millimeters. And so what we're gonna do is take a look at how we move that decimal place from centimeters right here to millimeters. It's only one to the right. That's all I have to do is move that decimal place one to the right. So I'm going to move it over one space to the right, right here, and the new number is 972.5. Let's look at the next one. 95 grams goes to milligrams. You can see, again, I have a whole number here, so remember when you have that whole number, rewrite it somewhere just to remember how this works. The decimal is going to be right here. You can add as many zeros as you need to, okay? It's still going to be 95 grams. And now we're going to need to go from 95 grams to milligrams. So don't get confused. Remember, up here at the top, this M stands for meters, okay? So we're not dealing with meters right now, we're dealing with grams and mass. So you start here at grams, and we're gonna move that decimal place to where we find milligrams, which is over here. One, two, three. So I'm moving the decimal place three to the right on this problem. So I, take, I start here, and I'm gonna move it over. One, two, three places. And that's my new number. So I'm gonna rewrite that new number right here. Nine five zero zero zero. I could put point zero if I want to. You don't need to, but you could. And this is ninety five thousand milligrams. Next one. 
take a look at that. Next one we have 0 0.574 meters is how many centimeters? So I'm starting my starting point for this case now is meters is meters and what am I doing this time? I'm going from meters over to centimeters. So I need to move that decimal place over a few. One, two, two places to the right. From meters to centimeters. You can again you can kind of disregard these because we're talking about meters now. So we move the decimal place two to the right. How would that look? It's easier to, to just leave this one where it is and just do it right over here. One, two. My new number, this one can confuse people sometimes. My new number would look like this. I have, I get rid of this zero. This zero goes away. You don't have to worry about that. The new number is 57.4. So look what I did there. The zero goes away. Don't worry about that. I move the decimal place over two, two spots and it gave me 57.4 centimeters. Okay? And it makes sense if you think about it because 57.4 centimeters, there's going to be a lot more centimeters than meters. That's half a meter, a little over half a meter. A meter stick is a lot longer than a little centimeter. So that answer makes sense. You can double check that way too if you want to think about it in terms of a meter stick. Okay, last problem down here at the bottom. We have milliliters going to liters. So for milliliters, where do we start? Be careful. It's milliliters. It's not this M right here. This is meters. So that means we're going to start here at the end right here, and we're going to go to the left this time. So we're going to, this time we're going to start here at milli, and we're going to go to liters. Again, liters is right here. So we're going to go one, two, three. Three spots. We're going to move this over. Here we go. One, two, three. Now what do I do? To get this answer, again, put the decimal, there it is, and then put the numbers that follow it. Five, two, eight, seven. Now you can add a zero here, and I would, and it'll make it less confusing. It's 0 0.5287 liters. So I hope this video helped you. Please subscribe to my channel for more of these types of videos. If, if this is uh, something that you're interested in, I have a bunch of different videos on metric conversions and things like that. Also, subscribe to my other channel. It's called Vintage Wood Workshop. I'll put a link for that in the description. Thanks, and take care.